Alberta Premier Danielle Smith gave her state of the province address Wednesday. While she touted Alberta's energy sector and economy, many questions the Premier faced were around Alberta's proposed exit from the Canada Pension Plan, with Ontario's Finance Minister raising concerns and suggesting a meeting of his provincial counterparts to discuss the proposed pullout. We now have a constitutional decision rendered by the Supreme Court that says that they've got a honor provincial jurisdiction and so we're going to continue to, to press those areas where we believe they are provincial jurisdiction so we're happy to have the conversation. Ontario's Finance Minister sending this letter to Federal Finance Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland saying in part Alberta's proposal could cause harm to people in Ontario and across the country. Minister Freeland has said she will meet with provincial counterparts over the proposal. The federal government recognizes that according to the CPP Act any province does have the right to choose to leave. It's very important, as the Prime Minister said in his letter, that that decision be based on facts and be clearly and well informed. We're all in this together and the idea that uh, that uh, Alberta might uh, not just uh, make uh, their own pensioners poorer by pulling out but uh, impact Canadians from coast to coast is uh, coast to coast to coast is not something that um, most Albertans would want, let alone most Canadians. Last week, City News spoke to Calgary economist Trevor Toome, who raised his concerns around a LifeWorks report showing Alberta would be entitled to $334 billion if the province withdrew from CPP. As well, concerns around how Albertans were being consulted about the proposal. Uh, the federal finance minister, if she opposes our interpretation to give us in writing what she thinks the proper interpretation of the act is. We proposed the same thing to the CPPIB and um, you know if need be I, I guess we'll have to ask the court to decide. Premier Smith says provincial finance ministers could meet as early as December in Calgary. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.